and we're here to rock the Eurovision. Yeah! <laughs> There's no doubt you're going to do that. Next question, uh, third row on the left hand side there. Hello. Hello, uh, I'm Jan Wittmann from Åbunda Rättelsers paper in Durbo, Finland. I wanted to ask uh, a career question. Do you consider uh, it a risk being in the Eurovision, given that you have a very strong position in Sweden and a substantial international following is growing? What if, for some inexplicable reason, the contest wouldn't go very well, uh, point-wise? Do you think that there would be a risk for you? I mean, for us to uh, to participate in this uh, competition and play for like 200 million viewers can't fail. It's a, it's a, a winning in, in itself to do that. So, and we're going to do our best, and it's going to be great, I think. And you know, whatever happens on Saturday, on Sunday we will still be the Ark, and we will play the Ark music to the Ark fans. It's just, you know, that there's a possibility on Sunday that there might be more of them. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> and the next question goes to the gentleman in uh, green then. Hello, Ola. Uh, Marcus from BBC Bristol. Um, Ola, it's a big fan of uh, glam rock. rock. Uh, can you tell us what your influences are, and especially I, the very next small line, I'm just a mortal with the potential of a superman, which uh, is very similar to a David Bowie line. Um, were you influenced by David Bowie? Uh, excuse me, I didn't hear the last part of the question. Sorry, I was just asking if you were very influenced by David Bowie. If you, if David you're... Bow... 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 No, uh, Bowie. Yeah, you're perfectly right. We're, we're very heavily influenced by David Bowie and a lot of all the uh, glam rock of the early 70s. It's, uh, we've been listening a lot to Roxy Music, Wizard, and T-Rex, you know, those kinds of bands. And uh, we're great fans uh, uh, of them. And if you come to our party that we're having on Wednesday, you're going to hear us playing some really obscure glam rock. You know. You know, the, the ones who wasn't even one hit wonders, the ones who were no hit wonders, no. But we love them. <laughs> and who doesn't? Is the current single and album released anywhere outside of Sweden? And uh, if not, are there plans for that? Uh, it's a little difficult sometimes hearing the questions because of the echo, so... I could, I could say it again. Yeah, it's already been released. Our record has already been released in uh, Finland and uh, Denmark. Uh, and uh, and uh, in Sweden, yeah, actually. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, uh, but it's going to be released pretty soon in Norway as well and Germany. Yeah. We have plans for the whole Europe as well. And we will work with the rest of the world later on. We we have a little showcase going on on Saturday, uh, where we hope that some uh, European uh, record companies will, uh, you know, uh, see us there. It's at the Hartwell Arena. You're all very welcome. <laughs> And of course, we're going to um, our, um, our, our, our our previous album, State of the Ark, was released. Was the first one that was released in, Uni in the United States. And uh, of course, this one will be released in the United States as well. Um, we're just working on the technicalities of the whole thing. And the next question, gentlemen, now in the yellow shirt. 
Hi, Susan. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, considering that you have a career for some years in Sweden and that you had an overwhelming uh, victory this year at the Melody Festival, and why didn't you think of uh, participating in the Swedish final before? Uh, was it, for example, the fact of Carola taking part last year refrained you from, from that opportunity? And uh, I wanted to say, Lika Likatel Belarak. Thank you. Thank you. But what did you say about Carola? <laughs> <laughs> I, I said the fact that Carola was last year, did that refrain you from taking part of the Melody Festival? No, no, we, 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 we jump at any opportunity to meet Carola. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, it was just stupid of us not to participate in last year because then we would have time to hang out with her really much. But uh, actually, you know, for a band like us being in this kind of occasion, it needs the, the right timing and, uh, and, uh, and, and the right gut feeling. And this year everything was right. We had the gut feeling that this is going to be a really fun thing. Uh, 